that um welcome back to the vlog i don't know just welcome back i'm tired it's been a long day friends mm -hmm. let's just jump right in let's do this day six wine advent calendar aldi let's, Number let's, six. let's do it if you haven't seen days one through five make sure and check out our vlog because we are hitting up every day this vlog oh, list Ooh, look at this one holy cow Fancy. Oh, it's JP Chenet again. It's fancy looking though. It's very fancy. It looks like bubblegum, gum, like Pepto Bismol. But it feels like it feels like the type of thing where like they dress it up to make it like look fancy and make you want to drink it when it's really not that good. I feel like we're really hard on JP. Yeah. Well, history has the been ice great. edition. So let's talk about real quick. I had to Google and let me Google what an ice wine is because I don't know. I can open it. Okay. I will Google while you open. Okay. Uh, okay, an ice wine is a type of dessert wine, and it's going to be super sweet, <laughs> produced from grapes that have been frozen while still on the vine. I haven't heard of that. No, me either. The sugars and other dissolved solids do not freeze, but the water does, allowing for a more concentrated grape juice flavor to develop. Hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about this. <laughs> I like, it's, <laughs> it says ice wine, or in German, Ice vine. Ice vine. <laughs> that means ice wine. Thank you. They got it. I got our mm, big glasses. Our two big glasses. Ooh, whoa. Yeah, don't drink that because I can't. I can't tell how much I'm supposed to pour in these big glasses. Uh, I definitely think I'm gonna get more. Oh really? Yeah. What? So Rude. Good. Rude. Hang on. Let the bubbles go down. You got way more than me, look. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna like it if that makes you feel better here. Mm, it doesn't, give me more. Yeah. Oops, classy. All right, let's give it a try. Zoom bowl. Why are you sitting up so far? Because I can see better. You're like, you're like, wow, who, who are you looking at, yourself? No, what I mean, I see like better. I'm like slouching, that's kind of weird. No, you just gotta so. sit up. No, I think this is better. You are like, I feel like you are like Hagrid, and I am George, not the sweater, but like, you feel very large in the camera. That's okay. And I feel very tiny. That's okay. I can feature prominently on this one. Vlogmas. Okay. You're just gonna stand in front of it for the next one? Mm-hmm. I'll just be in the back like, hello. Yep, that sounds okay. good to me. Great. Oh, I actually like that, surprisingly. Yeah, it's not bad. This is JP's best. This so is actually what I expected the rosé from like a couple days ago. Yeah, like. that rosé was not. That was my least that's favorite. That's what so I hard. was. That's what I was expecting. I'm not mad about this. This is good. Yeah, this one's good. It's I'm sweet. This one. It's definitely like a dessert. It I see why sweet. it's called a dessert wine. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I wouldn't be able to have a ton of this. Mm -mm. But for this month, it's about the right amount. I was gonna Actually. say this is probably the only the amount I would be able to drink of this. Yeah. Yeah, that's about right. But it, yeah, it's very sweet. But it's yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not bad. Yeah, I like this. Um, yeah, not yeah, too I'm shabby. Happy. I'm mad about it. I'll mm -hmm. drink it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, we're just going to go ahead and jump into Vlogmas. I hope you guys enjoy, and we will catch you tomorrow. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and <laughs> that was aggressive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just showing you really how to poke it. Mm -hmm. Hit that subscribe <laughs> Hit that subscribe button and turn on your alerts so you catch our vlogmas every day from now until December 25th. And we will catch you guys tomorrow with more wine. Woo! Mm -hmm. Cheers! Bowl. Prost. I thought I would do a really fun um, kind of toddler activity for you guys today. Hi, Yoshi. Um, I'm sure you've seen the felt Christmas trees online everywhere. You can kind of buy them everywhere. There's other DIYs, but I thought I'd show you um, my DIY felt Christmas tree. Uh, so what I have is some fleece for the Christmas tree. Don't lay on that. 
some fleece for the Christmas tree, and then a whole bunch of different colors of felt. I brought them um, back with us from the States because I couldn't find them anywhere here. And then what I have is some um, cookie cutters, our like holiday cookie cutters. Yoshi. Oh my goodness. Our holiday cookie cutters. And I'm just gonna trace these onto um, the different colors of felt. And felt sticks to itself. So I'm gonna make the big tree out of fleece and then I'm going to trace a whole bunch of ones on felt and I'm going to cut them out and then I have some cute little embroidery floss. I'm going to embroider some things, hopefully. <laughs> I've never really embroidered before so we'll see how it goes. It might just be sewing a, like a little pattern on there. We'll see. Um, but in my head this is really cute so we'll see how it goes. But I thought it'd be really fun for Zoe um, to have and then hopefully she will leave this Christmas tree alone if she has her own to play with. So first things first, I have my big thing of green fleece and I drew my Christmas tree on it earlier. And I just drew that in chalk. Do it in chalk and now I'm going to cut it out and I have it folded in half. So when I cut it out, it'll open and become a, a wide, normal sized Christmas tree. If you have fabric scissors, that would be much easier. I can't find mine, unfortunately, after the move. So I'm just trying to use the back end here of my kitchen scissors and hopefully get a really um, sharp cut. I'll go probably look one more time for my fabric scissors, but I couldn't find them earlier. Okay, so I cut it all out, I quarantined the cat. Let's see how it turned out. So I'm gonna go back in, these are not deep enough, the little Christmas tree sides, for sure. I'm gonna go back in, cause yeah, that's not, that's not deep enough. It doesn't really look like a tree, it looks like a big triangle. So let me go fix that. See, it's not quite deep enough, it's just like little tiny triangles. So I'm gonna go in, see if I can fix that up a little. Okay, let's see, let's try this again. Okay, this is looking more, more like a tree. Again, it's hard to tell because it's just like fleece or whatever. And she does not care, but I care. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a reasonable tree. The top is a little weird. It's a reasonable tree. Like I said, that top layer is a little weird. It's pretty skinny. <laughs> but whatever. It's a tree shape. Okay, so I've moved over to our wooden floor, a little bit easier to trace on. Um, and I'm just gonna grab some of these cookie cutters, those cute little moose, and find the matching, I want him in brown, and I think I have one brown, yeah. It's kind of a gross brown, but oh well. So I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna try and, same with when you make cookies, you wanna kinda keep close to the edge. So I think I'll do that, but I wanna make sure I have enough room to trace. I have my chalk, and this cookie cutter is from Ikea, it's a whole woodland, creature set. I think it's so cute. Probably when I cut, I'm going to have to take some liberties with the shape here and get in there and just kind of try and do our best to get it traced. Just go in. I'll have to kind of shape it by hand, um, especially around the antlers where it's, I mean, it's at the end of the day, this is chalk, you know, it's not not super pointy, fine, detailed work, so. Uh, okay. So yeah, he's enough of a moose shape that I can then go in and kind of clean up the jaw, the snout, and the antlers and make him a little bit um, skinnier, because for fat moose, he put on his holiday weight already. It's not even Christmas time yet. Haven't we all? I mean, Thanksgiving just ended. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock out a couple more traces of things, like I have, let's get the white here. 
I have this really cute little bear from the same pack at Ikea, the little bear ornament that I'm gonna use. Um, and I'm gonna turn him into a little polar bear. So he'll just get a little face and he'll be a little polar bear and I think he's gonna be really cute. Zoe has polar bear mittens that she's really into. So I think she'll, oh, I didn't think this through though. Cause it's white on white, I'm not gonna see it. Mm, yeah, I'm not gonna see that. So what I'm gonna do for the whites because I'm going to want to do a snowman too, I think, is I am going to, um, hmm, I'm going to get a pen. Maybe I'll get a pen. This um, really skinny black pen, basically. <clears throat> so I'm going to try this. I'm just going to be really careful when I'm cutting to make sure and cut completely on the lines or right inside the lines because I don't want to be able to see this. There's a little hanger in here because he's actually hanging on my little Christmas tree in the kitchen. There. Okay, he turned out pretty cute. I don't think that's going to be too bad. I think I should be able to cut right over that. Um, that might actually be easier than the chalk. And then I can just, for the dark, dark colors, like the black, I have a couple black ones. Um, maybe I'll do that. Let me, let me retrace the moose here. I think the key to this project, especially if you don't have a lot of time on your hands, because who has a lot of time on their hands during the holidays with a toddler too? I mean, come on. Is um, to keep the shapes really simple. Keep the design simple. Let's see. Okay. Oh, yeah. I think that works. I'm gonna go see if I can track down my fabric scissors and cut these out. Pen is actually the best way to go about tracing this. So let me go see if I can track those down. I was able to find them. So let me see what I can do here. Friends, don't use your fabric scissors on other things. Learn from my mistakes. This is a real life DIY with all the, all the problems you run into. So I'm gonna wanna get I think the thing to keep in mind while crafting, especially if you're crafting something like for your toddler, you know, as long as it's functional, I mean, she doesn't know, right? She doesn't know what a perfect moose looks like. I mean, I could just make a bunch of circles and she'd be happy to stick them on there. I'm just making it harder on myself because that's what I wanna see. But I think we just need to keep in mind, don't drive yourself crazy, have fun, you're not trying to impress anyone. You're just trying to make a fun craft for your kid, you know? Because I think we can get really wrapped up into the Pinterest, Instagram world, you know, where everything is perfect and beautiful. And I mean, wouldn't we all love to have houses and crafts and food and all that stuff that looks like that? But I think not everything does always turn out like that. I think we just need to keep that in mind and remember why we're doing it in the first place. There's our moose. I can flip him over so you can't see any of the black. Actually, I think this worked super well. I really like him. I'm gonna grab some of this red and make him a little scarf so he's festive. I'm gonna cut that out. Um, and I would normally use fabric glue, um, but I don't have any of that. I'm gonna see if I have any hot glue left. I might not even have any of that. So what I'll be doing is probably sewing, sewing it on there. So we'll see. But I'm gonna keep going at this, cut some more out, and I'll show you guys when I have even more cut out. But if you just wanted to end here, if you just wanted some simple shapes like, like a star or um, something like that, I even had, I found some templates online um, of just a ball. You know, you could do just simple shapes. I mean, she'd be happy just sticking this mousse on there. I'm, I'm the one that wants to make it cute with a little scarf. I still need to kind of glue or sew everything together, but here is, one of the Christmas lights. Now, well, unfortunately it's not focusing very well, but here's one of the lights I have, I cut out a little separate topper. There we go. And there's the cookie cutter. And then to make it look a little more realistic, I cut that for the top and it was so cute and so easy. I'll show you, I'll show you how I did it. I did two pinks to add to her colors already. We did the red and the green and the yellow and the um, blue, but she'll like the pink as well. So let me just cut it out. There we go. So I get that. And then I cut a piece 
here of the black that's slightly wider because I know I'm going to cut those, those slats in it. So what you do, let's see if I can zoom in here for you guys. Okay, so what you do is you take this and you're just going to cut a little V right in the middle. Pull that out. Okay, and the same on the other side, little quick V. And then you're just going to round out the edges, so just a little snip. And just go around and kind of snip off those hard edges, and it'll form like a little round end, kind of like you see when the little screw caps are the, the little bulbs. Oops. Too much. You kind of just shape it up. Okay. Doesn't need to be perfect, just the general idea. And there you there you have it. And I think it's really cute. It's kind of a cartoony, kind of a cartoony take on a Christmas bulb. And I think it's fun. It kind of reminds me of how the Grinch stole Christmas. So I think it's really fun and I have a whole bunch of those that she can put on her tree. Okay, so now I have all of my different shapes cut out. This is just the snowflake one. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and I have my needle and my embroidery floss. I chose blue and I'm just gonna go ahead and just sew up each one of these on the couch and watch some sugar rush <laughs> Christmas and just get to sewing. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I started sewing this, like doing the little lines of the snowflake and I do not love it. Like I just think it looks kind of cheesy and very homemade and not homemade in the like homespun cute way, like homemade in the bad DIY way. So I. I'm gonna not do that then. And I'm gonna find some um, glue, and I think I'm just gonna glue them and just leave them pretty simple. So they'll just be more like that. They won't be quite as elaborate, which I think is totally fine. They're still really fun. Um, and just glue them together. Maybe maybe I'll sew some like little X's here to represent snow. And I'll probably sew on the snowman's face here and here. But I think everything else I'm just gonna glue and just leave it pretty simple. All right, you guys, I'm just finishing these up. I put a little face on a snowman with some embroidery thread. I did some French knots, which is where you just wrap the, um, the string around the needle and then pull it through. I didn't do the best job here on some of them, but that's okay, you get the idea. You get the idea. I did on the ugly sweater too. So then I'm just taking my hot glue gun and hot glue is your best friend. And I'm gonna glue all these pieces together. I did the the first ugly sweater here and I glued the little scarves, the guys here. So yep, I'm just gonna go ahead and glue all these together, get them finished up and then I'll show you, I'm very excited. I also embroidered just a little X for some snow on the back of the snow globe one. Okay, so for the ones that maybe don't fit kind of all together, it's just the edge hanging on. Instead of just guessing with the hot glue gun, I just flip it over and I'm just gonna lift up the little bit right here and here and here and just put some dabs of hot glue and then it'll be all set. And I might actually just hot glue some of these joints just to make sure everything is all good. All right, you guys, that literally took about two minutes to hot glue all of these together. So I'm super pleased with how everything turned out. I can't wait to get the tree hung up for her. It's gonna be so cute. I actually had these little two mountains as a banner from a baby shower. <laughs> So I just grabbed those for her because she loves the mountains and we love the mountains. The little skiing snowman turned out so cute. And then the last thing I did was cut little strips here just to add a little fringe to each of the scarves. I did it on the snowman too. Just to add a little texture. And then I have a couple of plain things like the gingerbread house, a tree, a star, a bell, and a snowflake. So I think they turned out so cute. I'm really pleased with how relatively easy this project was. It was just tracing and cutting and gluing. I mean, anyone can do this and felt was so cheap. And I mean, are they perfect? No. Is Zoe gonna have fun with them? Yes. And do I think they're cute? Yeah. So I'm excited. Okay, so I'm using the command picture strips. I'm gonna cut them into smaller pieces. This happens to be like all we have in the house right now. And this is how we've hung everything up in our house because the walls here are made of concrete so you can't really put a nail into it so i'm going to use this to hang up her felt tree and we will see how it goes fingers crossed it works oh you guys this just turned out too precious it's in her playroom and i am absolutely 
in love with it. And it was so simple. It honestly, like, you don't need to do the crazy ones like that or even the ugly sweaters. Like, just a little tree cut out and the light bulbs and the little gingerbread house and snowflake, the bell, they're all so precious and so easy. So if you are looking for an easy gift for a toddler, I mean, this would make a really cool Christmas gift. So this is awesome. I can't wait to go get her up from her nap. She's awake. So I'm gonna go get her and see what she thinks. It's Zoe's Christmas tree. You can take all the ornaments off and put them back on. <gasps> back on. Back on. Mommy, take off. Hi. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Those don't come off. It just is one piece. One piece. Yeah, one piece. Yep, and then you put it back on. And a moose? A moose. Yeah, his scarf stays on. He's like an ornament. Like an ornament, yeah. The Christmas lights? Yep. Look how tall it is. Whoa. Shy. For Zoe. Yep. Zoe's Christmas tree. Oh, geez. What do you think? Do you like it? Yep. Yep. Oh, you're, are you drinking the hot chocolate? Yep. All right, well on that note, I think this was a success. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up. Hopefully you learned a little something. This was way easier than I thought it was gonna be. And we will catch you guys tomorrow. Do you like the sweater? Are you gonna wear it? Oh, yeah.